coming back to school with me We could have done it all so easily Hi, my name is Craig Thompson, when I'm the board game teacher. Thanks for coming to the classroom. Back again today, uh, I'm going to be doing the uh, City of Zombies in Times Square for Monday through Friday. So we're back again today. It is Monday, April 27th, and this is the next round of Game 2, Day 11 of Times Square. So the one that got the most votes from uh, for this solution today actually gets two zombies. So what we do is we get this, we say the 6 squared is 36. 36 times 2 is 72, and then you take 5 squared is 25, plus 5 is 30. So you're getting the Baywatch zombie, and you're getting the taxi driving zombie. All right, that's good stuff, and not even an item used. So, so far in both games, we haven't needed to put any more zombies down. We've always used every dice, because remember in Times Square, you can use a solution that doesn't use all the dice. But so far we've been good with that. So let's see if we can keep it going. And here we go. We have one, one, three, and six. So two ones, a three, and a six. Oops, let's move those down a bit so you can see them better. One, one, three, six. There you go. Um, so to remind you again of the powers, the ninja guy here will allow you to use one of the dice twice on the turn. This hero here, she allows you to use the things twice, like um, we use the American football once, so we still have it for one more use. This hero here will allow us to re-roll uh, the dice, and this one you can add up the numbers in the targeting wheel to get to use those to get the zombies. So, But the heroes are one use each, so once they're used, they'll be gone. But let's uh, see what you can do with those numbers for tomorrow. I look forward to hearing your answers. Until next time, I am Craig Thompson Wood, the board game teacher, saying thanks for coming to the classroom. Are you coming back to school?